Welcome everyone to another five minute workout today. We are doing an upper body circuit on the reformer. So it's just five minutes. We're gonna hit all the major muscle groups. Let's get started. I have one heavy and one light spring on. So one red and one blue. Of course, this is the resistance that works for me. You're gonna to have to adjust the resistance for whatever works for you. We're gonna start with a chest press with the strap. So I have a seat here. My legs are folded. You can also have them straight out in front of you. I hook my thumb through the strap and then wrap my hand around it. Sitting tall, breathe in, and then exhale, press out and come back in, press away and come in. So we're looking to do about 10 reps of each exercise and with really as good a form as we can get. So my elbows are gonna drop slightly down. So kind of a 45 degree angle and I'm sitting tall, I'm looking straight ahead. I'm trying not to fall backward. That's gonna engage the abs as well. And let's do three more. And two, and one. Nice big range of motion there. Now, I'm gonna move into a little upper chest work. So I'm gonna flip my hand over and lift my hand so that the straps and ropes are above my arm here. Then I give myself a lean forward and I press up at a slight angle. I wanna keep the straps off my arms. Exhale, press up and I stick my bum out. Try to keep the back as long as possible and press exhale as you press you're gonna feel some shoulders here too we've got five more and this is four and exhale three and two and one and come on in and sit back up now let's lose the straps i'm gonna keep my resistance the same and we're gonna do a little shoulder work with the foot bar so the foot bar up i'm gonna put my feet against the shoulder rest my hands just wider than my shoulders or shoulder distance apart if you want. And I'm gonna push the carriage out, getting my body parallel to the ground and my knees right under my hips. Then I flex the elbows coming in and press out. Inhale to bend, exhale to press. And again, my elbows are angling slightly down, not straight out to the sides, keeping my back nice and straight and keeping my legs stable so that the movement is happening because of my arms, my elbows and my shoulders. Let's do five more and four and three and two and one and come all the way in. All right, now I'm gonna keep my springs the same, the one heavy and the one light, but you might wanna go to just one heavy because this one's pretty tough. We're gonna do a lat pull. So it's basically the opposite of what we just did. Kneeling, reverse knee stretches. So knees against the shoulder rest, hands in front of the shoulders, knees under the hips. And then I exhale, pull with my arms, not my legs, and then return. Two, and then return. Three, and exhale, four, and pull five. Oh, this is tough. Six, but we can do it. Four more. And seven. Exhale, eight. Nine, feels so good though, right? And one more, 10, little shaking going on, that's okay. And back, all right. I'm gonna grab my straps and have a seat with my legs folded. And now I'm gonna have just a little room behind me, but far enough back that the straps are taut. I'm gonna cross these ropes, sit tall, and go into my high row. Bend, and come back, two. So the elbows, again, drop just below shoulder level, and I think about pulling the shoulder blades together, and pull, keeping the spine nice and long throughout. Let's do four more, four, and exhale, three, and two, and one, and come forward. So that's a nice full body complex exercise circuit. You can do it again and again to get more out of it. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye, buddy.